Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show, where today we have the first episode of, and I'll get to this in a minute, um, I'm just going to kind of introduce the game. Uh, yeah, this is the first episode of Sword of Mana for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I let the uh, channel members uh, kind of pick what the next Retro Classics game was going to be. And I'll, I've been a little hesitant about putting JRPGs on the list uh, because they can get a little long. But some of the older ones are pretty short. Um, and I love the intro art for this. Um, I'm gonna do like... Anyway, we'll pay more attention to this in a minute. But, um... Yeah, this is a shorter one. Um, and this is actually a remake of Final Fantasy Adventure for the Game Boy. Which, uh, is part of the um, list of games that released in 1991. So another series that is uh, now celebrating its 30th anniversary, although mm, Square Enix hasn't really made a big deal about it. Um, recently we did get the uh, Legend of Mana remaster. Uh, I think it came out. Did it come out? I don't remember. I'm not a big fan of Legend of Mana. Uh, the art style, I love. The gameplay, eh. It's very, very non-linear and kind of like too cryptic in a lot of ways. Um, this is more like uh, Seiken Densetsu 3 and 2 in gameplay um, because originally the 1991 version for the Game Boy it was um, it was known as Seiken Densetsu in Japan but they thought America eh, they're not big on JRPGs so let's say it's a Final Fantasy game then it will sell um, so that's why they called it Final Fantasy Adventure um, and then I mean, we never got Trials of Mana, so essentially, which was Seiken Densetsu 3. So this was the, no, it was still the first. Um, but then we got Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo, which was in 93, 92, something like that. I believe it was 92, but I'm not positive. Um, anyway, this was the first one of the trilogy. Uh, its initial version was very different from what people would come to expect uh, from like playing Secret of Mana and Trials of Mana. If you did, you know, if you, uh, you know, if you played that. Um, and then the series went kind of all haywire for a while. Like I said, Legend of Mana was very different. Uh, then they kept going very, very different. Uh, there was Dawn of Mana and Children of Mana. And it just, it was kind of weird for a while. Um, but yeah, in 2003, they, they remade the entire game. Like, from the ground up. It's kind of still the same game, but, um, at its core, I guess. But it's more of the art style of Legend of Mana on the PlayStation, which I think is the strongest art style they have ever had. Um, and that art style was kind of mostly preserved in the recent Trials of Mana remake. Kind of, sort of. Um, 
This style is more accentuated, like things are purposefully... They don't use a lot of straight lines. Um, things are kind of like purposefully distorted uh, to kind of emphasize things. Uh, and I appreciate that a lot. And um, you'll see what I mean here in a bit. But um, this game is very special to me because I've picked it up several times and never actually beaten it. And I've bought a couple of copies of this game, including the Vita remake known as Adventures of Mana, which was highly disappointing. So I'll go ahead and read the uh, prologue. Damn. Uh, there was a goddess. She cherished all life and transformed herself into a mana tree to launch over the world. Thus the legend began. As time passed, memory of the goddess faded from people's hearts. One day, a man crept into the sanctuary where the mana tree slumbered. With the power of mana, he built a great civilization, but this marked the dawn of a terrible age of darkness. The man forced the world to kneel to his will. His name is Vandol. When souls were trapped in the darkness of despair, a glimmer of hope shone in the hearts of a few brave youths. The fighting was fierce, but they would not give up. One wielded a holy blade that gleamed as brightly as the hope in their hearts. Powerless before this light, the darkness was vanquished. The power of mana was reclaimed from human hands and restored to its rightful place. But now... The people have forgotten the goddess once again. Cool. Dope. Um, so yeah, a lot of it's pretty typical um, high fantasy stuff by this point. But um, yeah, I mean this game holds up like super super well. What the? Oh right, there was a Game Boy like there's a GBA like link cable feature. I don't really know too much about that. Um, and they actually give you multiple save slots, which is really impressive for a Game Boy Advance game. I mean, a few other games had that, like um, Metroid Zero Mission and Fusion, I believe. Um, I'm blanking on a few others, but yeah, there, there were a few Game Boy Advance games that had multiple save slots, but on a JRPG that's as long as this one, it's... Uh, Always appreciated. And I'm gonna go with the girly girl, because she is really cute. And the guy is just kind of boring. Um, but yeah, already this is what I mean with the art style. Like, um, it's kind of that classic SD kind of thing, like the super deformed, kind of like not going for realism, going for like... A stylistic approach. Uh, I always appreciate that. Um, so we get to name our character, and I'm gonna name her Mools. Mm -hmm. Mools. 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 That's a name, right? Okay. Yeah. The stream again. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, please don't make me see it again. No, not the intro. In the beginning, the world was void. When then the goddess appeared. In her left hand, she held the light of hope and in her right, the Sword of Mana. 
the goddess summoned spirits to assist in the creation of life. Finally, to maintain peace, the goddess cast away the sacred sword. It is said the sword rusted the moment it left her hand. The goddess then transformed herself into a great tree that would sustain and watch over the world. A mystical power guards the sanctuary where the tree stands to this day, and that was a fast cutoff. All right. Mool's mother. And that is the song of the Mana Clan. Mother, that was great. I felt as if I could see the Mana Tree itself. Oh, you always exaggerating. It's strange that the first time I've heard that song, but it sounded so familiar. There's an even better songstress in the world than your mother, you know. <laughs> Several, actually. Will I ever meet her? <laughs> Who says it's a her? Oh wait, I did say songstress. My bad. I'm certain you will. You can count on it. Goody! Alright now, no more long faces. You know, I'm not one for long goodbyes. So that's my f why my face is so squished. Mother, no crying, even if I'm going away on a long trip, okay? I don't want to be embarrassed. I think you might be the one fighting back the tears. You always were strong. I would really just rather stay here. I mean, I love the people around here. But if I go out into the world, I don't, I don't think I'll like everyone. I guess I'm just a little uneasy. Sweetie, there will always be people you don't like. Like, I'm not really a big fan of you right now. <laughs> but... I don't want to dislike anyone. Liking and disliking have something in common. The word like. <laughs> Your heart speaks to you, and you try to understand one another. As long as you feel, that's what matters. As long as I feel, huh? Mm, mother. Tell your children not to walk my way. Did you take a long trip when you were my age too? <laughs> That's right. That's why my face looks completely smushed from the front. <laughs> it was a nasty fall. I set off to the see the world accompanied by a mana clan swordsman. Don't analyze so much. Go and say goodbyes to everyone. Alright. Thank you. Mules, you're traveling with Bogart the Gemonite? I heard all about him. He's really something. Is he in the village yet? I don't think so. I wonder what he's like. Can't wait to see him. <laughs> I'll bust out laughing if he's a lame old geezer. Oh, Willy. <laughs> Take care of yourself, girl. <laughs> Willy, we've known each other for like all our lives. You know my name. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like, actually, I kind of dislike that guy. <laughs> Goes around, like, trying to find people she doesn't like. <laughs> like, wow, I don't like you either. Cool, I'm excited about this trip. So you're off tomorrow, eh? Thanks for everything, Kasim. Bogart, the swordsman who will be accompanying you, is scheduled to arrive mm, sometime today. Do we have clocks? I don't know. Does their burger travel all the time? That's right. He's got important business all over the world. Sure it's great to have such an experienced travel companion. Well, he's a peculiar man, so you won't get bored. Kazim, we got trouble. Some guy's leading a bunch of soldiers and they're heading this way. What? Oh, bad guys. Shit. Um, soldiers in our little village? What can I do for you? I'm just a regular old man. So, this is the Heretics Village. Heretics? Battles rage everywhere, but you seem to have a peaceful town here. Even though people are suffering elsewhere, you seem to be enjoying yourselves. 
Not that business again. I'm sick of hearing it. You've been the cause of your own hardships. First of all, peace. Preaching at me? How dare you preach it, Dark Lord? You who monopolize peace and wealth, using mana power for evil. Don't push your luck, heretic. Get them! Arrest the heretics! Don't let a single one scurry away. Now, now, come along quietly. Eek! Elise, take her and escape. Yes. Mother! Run on ahead. No, I can't leave me behind. I told you there'd be no escape. Why are you attacking the mana clan? You're just, you're getting your just desserts. Can't hoard mana power alone for, alone forever. Hoard? Mana power flows in abundance everywhere. Your own country is full of mana power. Don't waste your rebuttals on me. Dark Lord has already passed judgment. Eliminating your village is the will of all the gods realm. How could you? Don't listen him. You escape while I hold him off. <laughs> You'll regret this. Run, run away. But... Get going. Go, find your real mother. What? Probably not the best time to tell you you're adopted, but... Fire in the village. Is it realm soldiers? No, it must be Dark Lord. Elise, what's going on? I didn't want to tell you like this, but... This might be my only chance, so listen. I'm not your mother. You have enough. Uh, she's your real mother. Quickly now, Bogard. Please take care of her. Count on it, Elise. Don't worry about her. She's in good hands. Mother! Oh. Oh. We just got poofed away. Sir Bogard, what seems to be the matter? Herman, you must protect this girl. Uh. Console's wife. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Are you awake, sweetheart? My mother. Bogart told me. He said your village was under attack. I have to get home. I, I have to save mother. Moors, I can't imagine how you feel. But your village is... It's not there anymore. You're lying. Just playing some cruel joke. Can't be true. Just can't be. I'm going home. Mother must be worried. Oh, but... I... Bring back your beloved village, if only I could, but I can't. All I can do is weep with you. So it's true? The village, nothing's left? I don't know what really happened, but I do know that Bogart wouldn't lie. If it was indeed Dark Lord who attacked the Mana Clan, as he said, then I suppose... Mm. Where is Sir Bogart? Is he here at the estate? He's talking to my husband, Consul Herman. Oh, it's such a bad dream. A terrible nightmare. But remember that you are not alone in this. We shall discuss this with the Lord Gr Grants. Grants? 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 Hmm. Tomorrow. Hmm. Let's go to bed now and get ready for tomorrow. Good mother. Wake up, you must flee, now. What? What's wrong? Where's my apple juice? I mean, Sir Bogard. There's no time to explain. Take her with you, hurry, go. Who's this? Mom, what's going on? Keep quiet, just keep, mo just keep moving. I'll deal with them. 
Open up. One moment, please. I'm dressing for bed. Go quickly. Auntie. Auntie? What? No. No, Mom, you come too. You're a big boy now. Take care of her. Get the fuck out of here. I'll try. Don't worry about your father and me. Prince Shroud is a nice man. He'll... I'll tell you all about it later. Um... Lady Dacon will kill you. Don't, don't make me watch. No. No. Eek. Uh, it, uh, hmm. Um, I made tinkles. Looks like you are having a nightmare. A dream again. No matter what you do, that memory comes back to haunt you, doesn't it? Mm, it's all because I abandoned him. I left him in that family behind to die. Don't be ridiculous. But... Some things you can do by yourself, and others you can't. If you don't understand that, you're no different from Dark Lord. Me? A Dark Lord? That's right. You need to judge yourself rationally. I want to know what happened to him. If you think you can handle the truth, you should find out for yourself. What's that... What was that kid's name? Cool, I can make up some stupid shit. Great. This is gonna be awesome. His name was... Oops. <laughs> it was Poops. Poops? No, really, what was his name? Hmm? You mean you knew Poops? No, not really. He, he was the son of my good friend Herman. Really? He was the kid from the estate? Yes, that's right. His parents were... Were they killed? Were they murdered? I can't say for sure. I didn't see how it all ended. Oh. Cheer up, Mools. They're probably doing just fine. Mm hmm. All right, then. It's time for me to get moving. Mm, but to where? You're sick of being haunted by the past here, too, aren't you? Mools. You need to find the survivors of the mana clan. They've got to be hiding out somewhere. Keep your chin up, eh? A. 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 All right, Sir Bogard. I will give up hope. But what about you? Now that you mention it, I've got plenty to do. <coughs> All righty. Time to get out of here. Got folks to visit in Topple. Okay, sounds good. Do you know how to use magic? Mm, nope. What am I gonna do with you? Teach you how to use magic? <laughs> yeah, right. Under spirits, select the one you to use and press the R button. Pressing the button summons the spirit, and letting go of the button releases it. How long you press the button determines whether it uses attack or support magic. If you're out of MP, sit down and rest. You can do that by pressing the A button and the L button at the same time. I know, you only have four buttons. We're gonna make the most of them. You got that? Mm, yep. <laughs> Learn the sit ability. Cool. By all means, pray to any mana statue you find, so that the mana goddess will be able to protect you. And your... progress. I need to get some info at Grant's castle. After you go to Topple to pay your respects, wait for me here. Sir Bogart, please be careful. So this is what I mean, guys. Um, the art style here? freaking awesome. Like, 
all this shit that's just like slightly kilter to like make things look um, expressive. That's a good way to put it. And just colorful as fuck. I love it. Like this house, man. Just cottage. Excuse me. Like the bed, the table, it's not perfectly straight, like the curtains, like the hearth, it's like bowed a little bit. Like the the freaking everything. Everything. It's awesome. And yeah, that was a hell of an intro, right? <laughs> so, um Yeah, the wheel is it basically works like Secret of Mana. Um you pick a thing and then it goes into the sub menu. Uh, so Wisp is the only one we have right now, which is totally fine. So you select it, and then you just, um, go like, oh, I can't use it right now? Okay. Oh, I can't attack right now either. Hey, it's wrong. And this is a mana statue, so, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and Murfed. Uh, I played the game a little bit, uh, as you can see, like 10 minutes. Um, just to kind of get things all ready and uh, make sure I remember how to play the game. At least a little bit. And um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Murft is a great name, but mules like it. Nope. And yeah, that is a hell of an intro, right? <laughs> Took us all in 20 minutes. I mean, I dicked around like for the first, like, five minutes of this video, you know, talking about the retrospective and shit like that, but, um, yeah, in my opinion, this is the best version of Seiken Densetsu 1, so, if you guys, uh, have never played any of the games, or you played Secret of Mana back in the day and you want to play another one, it's kind of like that, um, I'd recommend this. It's, actually, you know what, even if you haven't, played any of those games, I would recommend this game. It is a very accessible, uh, very well written, like the localization they did much better on uh, in this game, and uh, like there isn't that weird delay like there is in Secret of Mana, even the original. Like you would swing and hit something and then there would be like a half second to when, like, the damage would actually go into effect. Um, sometimes longer. And, like, yeah, if you time it right, you can get a triple hit, so... It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it's, like, a different, like, time of day up here. Just beating up rabbits. Yeah, you have to, like, connect on the first hit, though, or else it won't... We'll go through. Cave is off limits. Well, yeah, I can't get up there. Ow, dick. Oh, and this is like your overdrive kind of thing, where you can do like a... Like a charge move or something. I don't know what it's called. But yeah, it goes back to... Ooh, okay. Never mind. Oh, it did wear off. Okay. Okay, so I should heal a little bit. There we go. The... I mean, I guess your skill goes up with certain weapons? can't just mash the button and the combo won't work. But yeah, just everything is so, like, wonderfully detailed. Like, for a Game Boy Advance game, Dude, it's gorgeous. 
Like, a lot of people are like, oh, well, Game Boy Advance games were just to, you know, play Super Nintendo games on the go. Nah. Some actually looked way better than Super Nintendo games. Because, <laughs> I mean... The Secret of Mana and, say, like, Trials of Mana are both good-looking games. They're fine. Um, but, I mean, just, this looks better. Like, this is kind of exactly where I wanted the Mana series to go. Is like, after... Uh, you know what, this is actually good for... Because I need to level up. Um, after Legend of Mana on the PS1, I was like, oh man, this art style is awesome, but, like, the actual battle system could use some work. Um, and yeah, Topple Village. I mean, look at this place. It's great. It's the, uh, whoa. It's a little bit of a graphical glitch up there. Um... I believe this is the town from the beginning, but yeah, like, windows are, like, rounded, like, the roofs and stuff, great, like, the, they don't even reuse that many assets in, like, a obvious way, but, um, yeah, there's a little bit of weirdness going on, like, visually, with the, uh, like right there at the top of the screen. Not sure why. It's strange. Huh. Anyway. Uh, Tuple Residence. Yeah, everything is, uh, it's gorgeous. Like, pixel art wise, it holds up super well. Can't talk to you. Tuple gentlemen. Hey, not long time to see. So have you heard? The heretic hunters catch you, they'll make you into a slave. And day after day, they'll force you to fight monsters, just for their entertainment. I thought I'd snap when I first heard it. How long has Grand's Realm been like this? Since Dark Lord gained political power. He denied mana power to differentiate himself from Vandal, but... In the end, he's just as bad as Emperor Vandal. Vandal... Kibba the Sage, who lives in Wendell, knows all about it. You should go ask him. Kibba the Sage, Wendell. Cool. It's old news, but there were several uh, disappearances at Vinquet Hall to the east. Tales of attractive girls who went missing. I'm hardly pretty, so I should be safe, right? Nah. Oh my my, no need for flattery, but I fear heretic hunters may come for me soon. Or, no, uh, never mind. Aw, she's not confident about her physical appearance. Blast it, I can't seem to sell this shabby notebook. Yeah, you're kind of right in front of the goddess statue. Oh, I can still do the thing. Okay, cool. Neat. Anyway, the... Fat Rabbit, dude. He's from uh, Legend of Mana as well. Yeah, that is weird. I'm wondering where that's... Uh, I'll look into that in between episodes, guys, and try to see if I can fix that. Uh, do I know about the orchard? No. At the orchard, you can uh, turn two seeds into a mysterious plant that bears fruit. Monsters occasionally drop seeds. Keep that in mind. And, uh, inns in the, uh, mana series are not just for, um, getting your HP and MP back and, like, saving your game. So, um, it's, um, uh, pretty much always a good idea to, you know, look around, talk to everybody, that kind of thing. Mum's the word. <laughs> word, mum. They say, <laughs> word to your mother. Uh, they say the master of Vinquet Hall beyond Batmo Cave is an underworld in Mavol. What? Hall's gate is only open after dark. Mavol's. 
Seems there used to be a lot of them. Okay. Figure out which class you're aiming for before you level up. Otherwise, you'll never get stronger. Oh, and one more thing before you go. Keep your energy up by leveling up. Yeah, so there are different classes in this game. Like, for realsies. It's pretty, uh... It's pretty advanced shit. Because <laughs> Game Boy Advance. Okay, alright, cool. Blassie the Third. Alright, Blassie. You an adventurer? Yeah, I could tell. Do me a favor. The bats in the cave up ahead sometimes drop blood pouches. Bring me back one. They fetch a pretty penny in some circles. Cores will make it worth your while. So what do you say? Sure. Good, that's the ticket. I'll give you a hundred lucre for each. And I'll buy all you get. And then later you find out you can sell them to shops for 200 lucre a piece. It's like, you mother... Uh, anyway, um, did I go in here? Couple of residents. Hmm. Do you pray to the manor goddess every day? Yes. Hmm. It's the right thing to do. Hey, lady. I lost a real important book in the meadow that's beyond the forest to the south. Could you, like, go get it for me and stuff? Sure. Thanks! It's in the meadow beyond the forest south of here. Watch out for soldiers! Yeah, and the fact that they actually give you, like, dialogue options... Pretty freaking cool. Even if it's just yes and no. I don't care, it's a Game Boy Advance game. Like... Did you hear the news? The caves to Wendell have been sealed. Sealed? Say the master of Vinquet Hall did it. Now I can't go see my daughter in Wendell. Kind of a predicament. <laughs> Welcome. Buy items. I have 27 lucre. That is not nearly enough to do anything. Like, you can buy accessories there too, but like, I don't have enough NFI. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. So thank you very much for stopping by for part one of Sword of Mana for the Game Boy Advance. Glad you guys have been uh, down with the whole uh, Game Boy era of uh, retro gaming because I am very well versed in the uh, in that on those platforms. I played a lot of Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance growing up. Um, so yeah, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the, um, the new, like, intro and outro transitions. I, um, recently figured out how to do that, and, uh, I think it, I think it looks a little better. But, um, for example, the one here in a bit, um, as I usually do the outro, like, thank, like, and thank you all for being here, very much so. And um, a very special thank you to our Farts and Crap Show members, Old Cranky Gamer, Novalis Draconis, and Retro HD. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the join button, choosing to support the show a bit more directly. And um, yeah, I'm I'm liking the way I'm liking the way that, that looks. It's it's pretty cool, pretty good, pretty good, cool. I, I like it. So it's a uh, just kind of an update, I guess, to um have some kind of transition thing instead of just doing like an instant um cut I guess but um anyway hope you guys like the way it looks and uh I guarantee it <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on with the graphical weirdness um and, like the screen tearing thing uh see if there's a way to get around that and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for part two. Till then, have a wonderful day and take care.